Daz Got Bad Gaming. Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm excited to share my first looks at the new Pirate Dreadnought Freighters, which is part of the new Echoes update for No Man's Sky. Let's get into it. This update is absolutely massive, so I'm only going to be focusing on elements that have to do with the Pirate Dreadnought. So over at NoMansSky.com, latest patch notes reveal destructible freighters, precision freighter combat, colossal space cannons, freighter shields, very cool, no escape for the wicked, blow their engines out, pirate frigates. To get started, make sure you have open spaces in your frigate fleet so you can grab one of the new pirate frigates. Next, warp to a pirate star system. I wonder if there are going to be rules like uh, when you trigger a pirate frigate attack. Do you have to jump five times first? Do you have to wait three in-game hours first? Who knows? Holy crap, look at those guns. <laughs> Very impressive. We know this attack is on a timer, uh, as those massive guns will destroy the capital freighter in the system in pretty short order. So, this is my first shot at running this, let's see how it goes. The Pirate Dreadnought is protected by some very strong shielding. I want to get it nice and close to destroy the engines first so the Dreadnought cannot escape. Damn, those guns are big. Once done, we're supposed to fly along two aft lateral trenches to destroy the shield generators. This feels very Star Wars to me. I dawdled around shooting trench guns perhaps a little too long. Uh, tourist curiosity, I suppose. I also didn't wait for each fuel rod to emerge, thinking that I would have enough time to maybe loop back around a couple runs. And there goes the civilian capital freighter. Boom. Anyway, apparently, a few moments after popping a shield generator, exposed fuel rods rise up in their place. It seems that destroying these exposed fuel rods does a tremendous amount of hull damage to the dreadnought. That's good to know. Even though the civilian capital freighter is destroyed, I still want to see this battle through. Curious about what rewards? I'll wait and the pirate frigates. I want to check those out. But clearly, if you want to be able to beat this mission, you're going to have to hustle. I mean, really get moving through these trenches. Uh, and probably making sure that you destroy the shield generators and the, the exposed fuel rods on the same pass so you're only running each trench once. Whoa, how cool is that? Apparently freighters are so big that they don't just vaporize in a fiery blast like frigates and spaceships. Ooh, S-Class Salvaged Frigate Fuel Unit. And the coolest death sequence in No Man's Sky so far. In my first run, I failed to save the civilian capital freighter in time, and I forgot to dismiss one of my frigates, so I didn't have any open slots to get one of the new pirate frigates. So now that I have a better idea of what I'm doing, I went back and I gave it another try. Like the first time, you get in very close to bypass the shields, and I literally parked right next to the engines and just started blasting away to try to get them destroyed as fast as I could. Alright, step one complete. Step two, enter the trenches and destroy the shield generators. Alrighty, it seems like you have to destroy a certain amount of these shield generators before the exposed fuel rods will start to pop up. There goes their shields! And destroying those exposed fuel rods does a lot of damage to the hull. <sighs> well, I came a lot closer this time. And then I finish up the battle by blasting the trench walls. <coughs> and the reward is an S-Class Salvaged Fleet Booster. So with their fearless leader mothership gone, all of its little frigates around here are ready to sign up with whoever the next big fish is. And that would be me. Well, let's take a look. The SV-2 Oitango, a pirate frigate, combat 19, industrial 1, trade 1, expeditions 3, times damage 2, Captain Scout Yitan. 5.18 million sold. Overall, I'm really excited about the Pirate Dreadnought attacks. They just add a whole nother flavor to the game and it makes it just absolutely much more exciting to play. It's wonderful and a new way to get S-Class techs every time. Hello Games has put a lot of time and a lot of energy into really bringing the game to the next level. And I'm very happy to see the freighters are right at ground zero. But there is so much more to the Echoes update. It is unbelievable. Personal refiner upgrades, create your own staffs, like, it's just, and this is just the tip of the iceberg, there's so much. You just have to check it out. But it's getting late, so I'm going to head back to my freighter and unlock those S-Class technologies. 
But as always, my friends, thank you for joining me tonight on my exploration of Pirate Dreadnoughts. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps, and I hope you all have an absolutely great evening. Dad's gone bad gaming.